So we've already discussed that for a Michaelis-Menten plot that follows this equation, uh, we would plot uh, on the y-axis the velocity or the rate of the reaction that we get from our uh, activity assays versus uh, the substrate concentration at uh, different substrate concentrations, okay? So, and what we would expect to see uh, based on this equation is some sort of hyperbolic plot. Uh, so if these are our data points shown here in blue, we would expect that to go uh, to have saturation behavior, where that would be approaching an uh, asymptote shown here in red, uh, which is the Vmax. And then at one half Vmax, we could project that down to the substrate concentration, so to the x-axis, and get uh, Km, the Michaelis constant from that. <clears throat> so what if we need to, uh, what if we need to do this? What if we need to linearize this? So the way to linearize this equation is to first invert both the left and right hand side. So take the inverse of uh, V naught, which will be one over V naught, and then take the inverse of the right hand side of the equation, which will just flip the numerator and the denominator. And so as we do that, these can be separated, these terms here, and they all have the same denominator, V max S naught, on the left hand side and also Vmax S naught on the right hand side. And this simplifies because S naught cancels out here and we get a final equation of 1 over V naught equals uh, Km over Vmax times 1 over S naught plus 1 over V max. All right? And so this is called a line weaver burke equation. And this follows, once again, for linearization, y equals mx plus b because we set y equal to 1 over v naught, we have m times x, so x is 1 over s naught, so the substrate concentration, plus b. And so b, or the intercept, is 1 over v max, and the slope is km over v max. So if we do this transformation here, for line weaver burke we're going to make a new plot, which is 1 over V naught and 1 over the substrate concentration. And this is going to have a slope. This going to be a line that is going to cross the y-axis at some point. Okay, so this is going to have a slope, and that slope is going to be equal to Km over Vmax. And this intercept is going to be equal to 1 over Vmax. So this is the y-intercept. And from here, we can extract both of the Michaelis-Menten parameters uh, from this linearized equation, uh, where we're going to get Km and Vmax. And then we can use this uh, to either compare, for instance, uh, mutations amongst different proteins of similar proteins or different types of proteins that have similar functions. And we'll talk about how that's important in the next video uh, for determining modes of inhibition.